My name is Faith, and I'm so glad you're here. Philippians 2 and 1 through 5 says, If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. But this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Faith starts with F. Complete trust or confidence in someone. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith starts with F. Strong belief in God. Romans chapter 10, verses 8 through 17. But well, what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith, which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then? shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Esaias saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith starts with F. Trust, belief, reliance. Second Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith starts with F. Dependence, hopefulness, expectation, optimism. Mark 9 and 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Welcome to Sunday School for Sunday, November 5th, 2023. For our primary students. I do not own the rights to this music. Please pick up the toys, Dad said. Do I have to? asked Tyler. I didn't take the toys out. Byron did. Don't argue with me, son, said Dad. I know Byron took them out, but he doesn't feel well. His temperature is higher and Mom wants him to go right to bed. But Dad, moaned Tyler. Now, son. Please do what you are told. Don't you want to help your little brother? Yes, said Tyler, looking down. I'm sorry, Dad. Good boy, said Dad, smiling and tousling Tyler's hair. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and say unto them, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt, unto the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. And that's Exodus chapter 3, 
verses 16 and 17. Moses leads the way. The Lord told Moses he saw how unhappy his people in Egypt were. God had come down to rescue them, to bring them to a new land. He wanted to bring them to a land that was good and had what they needed. He called it a land of milk and honey. God told Moses he was sending him to Pharaoh to bring his people out of Egypt. But Moses said, Who am I to go talk to Pharaoh and expect him to let me bring the Israelites out of Egypt? God said he would be with him. And as a sign, God said his people would worship him on Mount Horeb. Moses asked him what he should say if the Israelites asked what God's name was. God told him to say, I am has sent me to you. The key verse for our primary class is coming from Exodus 3 and 12. And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. Jesus delivers. Deliverance starts with thee, the action of being rescued or set free. Exodus 14, 13 through 14. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Deliverance starts with thee. Liberation, release, freeing, or rescue. Psalm 18, 1 through 2. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Deliverance starts with D. Emancipation, salvation, redemption. Psalm 34 and 4 I sought the Lord and He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Deliverance starts with D. Rescue from imprisonment, danger, or evil. Psalms 27, 1-7 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. Psalm 23, 1-6 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life 
and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 34 and 7 The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. Psalm 34 and 17 The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Psalm 34 and 19 Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Jesus saves. Salvation starts with S. Preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin, or loss. Jesus saves. Psalm 121 says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. From this time forth, and even forevermore. Salvation starts with S. Lifeline, preservation, means of escape. Acts 2 and 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation starts with S. Jesus. John 3 and 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Salvation starts with S. Redemption, deliverance, saving, help. Psalm 118, 25-26 Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Psalm 46, 1 through 11. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Psalm 31, 15-16 my times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Psalm 138, verse 7. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies and thy right hand shall save me. Manners, a way of behaving towards people. 
Say please. Please is used to ask for something in a polite way. To ask permission. The act of allowing something to happen or allowing someone to do something. Say thank you. Used to express appreciation to someone offering or giving you something for helping you or for asking you how you are feeling. Psalm 84 verse 11 For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly.